Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch as Floyd Mason. So, but again, you know, I might have to do, like, I kind of did a quick overview level of Fatties of Mind, but because they're so different, it's hard to tell. And I, I, I just can't, t like, to me, it doesn't feel... Like what I'm doing is any slower, but I gotta break down the actual item checks. Because my worry is that, although I'm doing the witch thing, that it might actually be slower the way I'm doing it. Um, like a death may actually be faster than running back out there that last time. Because it's that last one of going out and giving the fire and getting back, which is uh, hurting me. But it's kind of nice to get the broom and just zip across and then fall and do that, that death so you're on the screen. Because... You have to die on the screen, and for both of them, you have to fall from a higher spot to do it. So it's kind of weird like that. Okay. Good. Nice first jump. And again, I'll have to check it against against mine. Like maybe this part is actually slower. So I should be able to successfully time kind of like when I get in to the uh, to the actual kind of castle. Just kind of a start point of which one of my starting routes is quicker. I still think that's a pretty good one. Um, I don't think him running back from there helps at all. And again, while I could get that with him, I feel like it's quicker just to grab it than uh, that, that star sucks. It's such a hard angle to grab. Um, but instead of it being passed twice, I think it's quicker for him just to leave it for her. So there, really, in this run, there should be a couple changes right at the start, and then a couple changes right at the end. But in the middle, I should be able to do big chunks. Like, I should do a big chunk of Dizzy. Come on. Slow smoke. Um, do a big chunk with Dizzy, and then do a big chunk of Daisy. Felt that one. Um, all right, so this this one's dead, but I do want to test. Um, I want to test falling out of the one for the Excalibur one. Um, so we'll go do that. I just want to make sure that I don't die doing it. Um, I don't want to get all the way that deep in a run and die. So it's kind of my intention. Well, if the first run's blown, I'll just go check that. Hopefully, I mean, you know, realistically my goal for this one right now is sub-16. Um, you know, if I can be batty, great, um, but their time is pretty solid. And I'm, again, I'm not necessarily sure that my time or my routing is able to beat them. Uh, so let's see if I die falling out of here. Yeah, but it looked like I could jump. So let me go try again. One thing I wonder too, because technically, technically you can die, and I think if you die, you stay the same person. So I mean, like that could be an interesting concept as well. I'm having to play with is like if you do all the stuff for somebody and then just kill them in water at the edge of a map, then um, you, you know you might save all that time having to run back. But I don't know if you can beat the game with one of them dead. I might have to test that, like get all the way to the end kill one and see if it lets you finish the game with just one of them. Alright, so if I go up here and then jump. Yeah, look at that. See, that's much better. And then right down to the sword. And then he can pull it out 
run back in. So yeah, that's definitely the way we're gonna go. Because again, that stops um, from the dizzy. It stops you from having to run out, up, over. So like three screens of running straight past the goat, past the um, tea party, past where Dozy is. So that's saving six screens of running plus you know I, I got killed by this worm um and then six screens of running back so that should save a good 30 seconds It's a little easier if you can jump over and get the poison apple, but if you fall down here and then you maybe have to jump out of here twice, not too Peek that star right there. I dare it. Okay, I missed it, but I was kind of waiting for that fish to go anyways. Again, this is uh, one I may just have to grind down offline. Um, again, I only have so much streaming time. Um, I like, well, I like to show and talk about my ideas. Um, sometimes it's just a tedious of just running it over and over and resetting every three minutes. Um, I want to show the new one. You know, I want to do a little bit in Treasure Island tonight. Um, so I don't know that I get through all of the planning of it. But I want to write down what's on each side so that I can start to think about what I want to take over and when. Um, and then hopefully next week we will take a look at the Spectre ones. Um, those ones I'm not going to... I'm probably going to watch the walkthroughs first um, and just kind of mimic them. I'm not as concerned about getting top times them. I just want to get a, a decent time, you know? If they got 13 minutes, I want 15 minutes. That's all. <clears throat> you know, I didn't grow up with the Spectrum. Not really my system. So I'm not as concerned about the, my time zone. Nice. Good grab on that one. Saves me two seconds or so. Their time is still definitely lowerable by at least 20, 30 seconds. So. Yeah, they, have a, they have a great route. I'm so, I'm so committed to my own and making it work, which might be foolish. But again, it's hard to copy someone else's route and beat them at it. That's kind of my mentality. I don't think my run is much different, but I get to do the flying earlier. And it's kind of my own, so it's just more ingrained in my brain. Oh, all right. That time I was slamming. Um, let's try one more. Do one more, then we'll switch over for now. Hopefully, we get at least a flying part this time. A couple bad runs in a row. Like start right on the hat as well, or else that second drip. Oh. Okay. Oh. Come on. Again, sometimes his jumping is a little finicky. A little time lost there. 
Nothing too bad. Because in the other game too, there was a fast talk button where I don't think there's one in this one. So like that was kind of a big thing. Is like when I was running the other game, I realized that um, it's White happens one at a time. That his speeches were going much faster than me, and I was like, what the hell? But it was like if you press A, it's slow. But if you press B, it's quick. It was like really weird. It's kind of a tricky jump that one. Um, it's harder than it looks. Like, when I first started playing this, I fell in the water there, like, all the time. So, pretty on pace from where we were again. I think getting in the castle around two minutes is good. But now, we're not going to fall in the water this time. That's a great flying bird. Hmm. I still hop up there. Get these turns I need. So it's going, going pretty well so far. Pretty happy with this. That, that at the last second that fish was jumping at me. Get this out of our inventory. Okay. And we want to make sure we get the water, so we're just careful till we get it. But now if we can get um oof. let's just fly. Now if we get into where the wand is without any trouble. Pretty good shape.
down. Okay, now we don't want to be dizzy for a while. That's actually really good. So I was kind of saying, if you don't get there quick, and I just was a little slow, so I'm going to lose about seven seconds, at least. And I got to pick the pocket watch back up again quick. Ah, now it's over there. there you just have to be close to him to talk to him, but you don't have to be... Oh, come on. Damn fish cost me a lot of time. I think, I think this is still gonna be a good run, but that's like 30 seconds easily lost. I'll have to check it later, but I think that should have been so simple. stuff get get her into the castle then we gotta get back with Dizzy and do a bunch of work but we'll get uh, her to a point where you know it's not ideal again if uh, we get hit but it's survivable That's right. That's fine. Here we go. Okay, now the big thing I think will be will be in here is I don't, I can't die, well, I hope not to die after getting the big gem, because that'll save me another, like, you know, 15 seconds of change, but I don't want to climb back out and get it, so it's worth the risk. Maybe like fall from this side would be fine. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Getting this wand is the big thing. Can you just do anything and he talks to you. minutes from here seems tough. Again, I lost lost like 30 seconds or so, but my flying was, I don't think I can get much better than that.
Okay. No! Oh, come on. Waste like 20 seconds. Now nah, I'm just throwing it away. All these deaths just kill you. Just unforced errors. The first drop goes through you for whatever reason. I mean, maybe it's like built in so it's nice to die instantly. But dying like three times down here is absurd. Screen that it resets. <laughs> okay, now this is the thing is I have to land on land back on my trampoline. I still think it's quicker to do this death and uh, go back. I think that's right, I'm gonna beat my time. Um, and so, like, that again, it gives me, like, hope that's doable, but. Oh, this that does help. Um, but yeah, just uh, a lot of cleanup of errors. But I really wanted to free uh, Grandpa and get back. I think I have everything, all the stars, hopefully this time.
Oh my god. That's worst case scenario, because again, there's not an easy way to kill yourself on the screen. So I gotta run. Gotta run back up and jump off. Super impressed with the fact. They, they didn't play this game very long, but the time is pretty pretty tight. They really got it going quick. Especially if I if I miss the tree falling. Yeah, I don't see how it's possible. I think I just I think I died too many times. Some stars though. time even. Wow. I thought this, this was such a good run at the start. It's definitely the best flying I've done. But again, just the deaths kill you. Like when you're aiming for 16 minutes. Um, Gives me something else to look at. Um, other areas. More videos I have. Oh, I can jump here. Uh, more videos I have, the more I can check parts and how quick I did them. But yeah, I'm gonna kill myself three times here at the screen. It's terrible. Dying three times in that cave. Terrible. Take a quick uh, break, Swashroom, um, and we will switch over to Treasure Island Dizzy. Um, now we're not going to be running today, I'm just going to be kind of mapping out some stuff um, and talk about, kind of think out my strategy. Um, right there. So I'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Please click to check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and come by Twitch under Floyd Mason to join my live streams.